Hi everyone. Um, I'm going through the basement and I'm finding some old photos. I found some old photos of myself. You want to look at them with me? This is me and my friend Nikki Soboda at the um, the 57 57th Street Theater in New York. Um, oh, here's my friend and her husband. Here's someone's baby. Oh, my coworker's baby. Those are boring. There's a picture of me and Sahara on New Year's Eve. I think this was in um, Chicago. That's cute. Oh, here's me and Sahara and Epiphany. I don't know what this was. I feel like it was a Christmas party because I'm wearing a Santa suit. Oh, here's a picture of me, Sahara, and Pandora box. Oh, this is cool. It's like a lenticular. I don't think you can really see the effects of the lenticular. That's me and... I don't know who that is. Oh, so many pictures. Ah! Me and Sahara blowing bubbles. Oh my gosh. This is one of the first times I went out in drag when I moved to New York City. It's me, my friend Beth, and our friend Carmen. Look at my pink tights. Yes, Gaga. Look at that little raven wig. Ah! <laughs> oh, here's me and Tuan. Oh, this is when we first met. I had shaved my head, so I was a bald fish. <laughs> this is a picture of a painting I did when I was in college I think maybe I was 18 or 19 years old and it was my girlfriend at the time as Queen Elizabeth her name is Christine that's when I was still was straight acting I wasn't straight I was just straight acting acting like I was straight I also a very bad actor it's me and my sister that's me in, I want to say high school, because I had curly hair. Oh, here is a, a flyer I designed for my friend Elle. Actually, she was our daughter. Or she was our daughter. She was Elle Davenport. She's quite beautiful. Photoshopped. Here is a picture of me and my sister and my mom. Oh my god, my mom is so skinny. I need to show this picture to her. Let's see. Oh my god, I have so many photos. In it. Oh, this is a good one. This is a picture of me and my sister on Halloween. She was she wore a costume made out of uh, New York City subway maps, and I made a costume out of New York City uh, uh, out of New York Times. Newspapers. Is this at a beach? Cancun. Um, oh, this is a picture of my sister, her friend, our, our old neighbor from Minnesota. And these were my co workers when I worked at Aldo. Aldo Shoes. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, I just posted this YouTube video on my Facebook page the other day. Um, it's a picture of me um, performing. This is way before RuPaul's Drag Race. Me performing, I think, Madonna's Vogue at Sweet Bar in New York City. Yes, bitch. I made that costume. P.S. Get into it. And I made that wig. P.S. Back in the day when, Ru um, when drag queens had to make their shit. Oh. Oh my god, look at me. Look at how crazy I look. I got chopsticks in my hair. I swear. Let's see. This, oh, this is sad. This is from 2009. That's my grandma. 
and it was her 90th birthday, so um, we got her nine different cakes. We have a German chocolate cake, because she's German, uh, a cheesecake, because we love cheesecake, a sheet cake, because it's a birthday, um, there was an ice cream cake, um, because I love ice cream cakes from Dairy Queen. We got her a fruit cake, which we actually had in the freezer from the year before. We got her, oh, my favorite, favorite kind of cake, which is a yellow cake from a box with chocolate frosting from the grocery store. <clears throat> we had cupcakes, we made cupcakes. A baked Alaska, because how cool is a baked Alaska? And then pancakes. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine cakes for her 90th birthday. Rest in peace, Grandma. That was a really, really fun day. Coming out, she was. She just. You should have seen her face. When oh, here, this is her face. <laughs> this is her face when we were presenting her with each of the cakes. So she's like, oh, so cute. Such a cute little picture of her. Oh, Remy. It's my dad. Looking all smart next to a boat or a toy boat. Mom. Oh. Here's me and my sister. They're in that same outfit I was wearing. We got all like, back in the day when we used to like play with our makeup, you know. We thought we were milk back in the day. Club kids. <laughs> we thought we were milk. Um, oh my gosh, okay, so this is, when I was in college, I was in a production of, of Cabaret. And here, I was a chorus boy. So there's one of the, my, this is my friend Siri. It's my friend Blake. And this is me, I was a Kit Kat boy. And I was wearing assless pants. Look at them pancakes. No ass, no ass at all. God damn. I can't believe I went on, on stage. My grandmother was there and she saw my butt. Crazy. Um. Oh, here's a close-up of the ass. Yes, Gaga. Before the pads, right? <laughs> the craziness. I have so many pictures in here. Oh my god. All right. It's me, my dad, my sister, and our friend Kara. Oh my gosh. I am so... Oh, here's my friend Linda. Karaoke. She loved to go to karaoke. Oh my gosh, here's me and my sister. I don't even, I guess this is in New York. Look how long my hair is. <laughs> Such a girl. Um, I don't know what this is. I love my mom. I don't know what this is. Uh, this must be for my mom because it's a picture of food. Yeah, totally for my mom. Um, picture of Sahara and our friend Noel. Hey, Noel, if you're watching. Me and Swan. Me and Swan. Oh, me and Swan. Drunk. such a cutie. Look at him. I guess I was making potatoes at my grandma's house. All. Three Westerbergs. Three generations. Oh. Here's a picture of my mom and a Photoshop picture of my mom. <laughs> oh, here's my mom being sexy. Yes. My dad loves airplanes. So this is, I should give this to my dad actually. I'm gonna take that out. Oh, look how skinny I used to be. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm like a freak of nature. Damn. Oh 
I don't know who that guy is. He's cute. Oh, here's my friend Melissa. I'm gonna say that to the side. Take a picture of her next to send it to her. Oh, there's a picture of me and Rachie. I swear we're so cute. Oh, here's me and Kevin Aviance at a, at a, I think it was a Crunch Gym. We, we did a party at Crunch Gym. That one time when I played makeup artist to my sister on her wedding. God, she's sickening. So beautiful. Is one of my favorite all-time drag queens in the world. One of my first drag queen loves, Roxy Marquis from Minneapolis. She, uh, she was the Madonna impersonator of, of, the, of the ladies of the femme at the gay 90s. And I love Madonna and she was gorgeous, but look, look at her. I think that was, she was doing, die another day. Um, and look at my hair. What the fuck? Manila trying to be sexy. Look at that fucking makeup. Oh, here. God, she's gorgeous. Look at this bitch. Oh, she swears. I made this. I made those. Those are. I got it like a slip, and then I like got cardboard and like made cardboard cones because I wanted to be pointy like Madonna because I love Madonna. So they were pointy. Look at those shoes. I got those at Payless, and then I put plastic rhinestones on it. And just a heads up, I put plastic rhinestones with E6000. It melts the back, and they don't sparkle as much. But too late. Me and my friend Dan on the subway. Here we are on the subway platform, I guess. Mm. I don't know what we're doing in this picture. Um, it must have been some kind of family function because I'm dressed up in this picture. Oh my god, my hair. Oh. Trade. Looking like trade. Trade in the daytime, fish at night. Trade in the daytime, fish at night. It's me sleeping. Okay, I need some cute... Hmm. Oh my gosh, this, this night, oh my, this is, this night I made out with a clown, a midget, oh wait, we can't say midget, a, a little person clown. Um, it was a different time back then, I guess. Um, and then he left his clown white makeup all over my face. Let's see. Oh. Look at her hair. What the hell was she thinking? <laughs> and that's our foreign exchange student from Brazil, Luisa. Oh, here's me eating lobster. Lobster is one of my favorite foods. I want to say that's me and my dad in Rhode Island, Providence, maybe. Let's see what else I got. On this flyer I designed for Sahara um, for her one woman show back in the day. What, what was it? Wednesdays, September 15th and 22nd. I'm not sure. Sahara was the first RuPaul's Drag Race girl to ever have a show at the Lori Beachman Theater. So when you ever go and you ever see one, one of these drag queens um, with their one woman show at the Lori Beachman Theater on 42nd Street Times Square, Sahara was the first one back in 2009 or 2010. And I designed the poster after the, the Moulin Rouge posters from Paris. How cute. That's cute. Oh, me and my friend. Um... Oh, you guys, this is the first, this is the picture from the first day, the first night I ever went out in drag in New York City. Look at that busted fucking mug. I wonder, like, why I want to zoom in on these pictures like that. Like, you can't even zoom in. Look at that mug. She is a mess. It's also a bad picture, whatever. Mm -hmm. This is how, you guys, 
I know you guys are like, probably a lot of you guys are young, but when you used to, when I used to go out, I used to bring those disposable cameras to the club because I didn't want to bring my digital cam, like my expensive digital, one megapixel digital camera out to the club because I was afraid I was going to lose it. So I used to like bring a disposable camera, I would take a bunch of pictures, and then I would um, uh, get them printed. Oh, it was my friend Miranda Moondust. Uh, let's see. Me and my friend Diziomata. I guess this is before I made up with the clown. Oh, me and Michael T. Mm. Wow, that was a fun party. DJ Justine D. Okay, that's cute. All right, trip down memory lane with my Instagram followers. Oh, this is when I went on a vacation with my sister in Cancun. Yes, nudity. Oh, there's my sister's tits. Yeah, she's gorgeous. God, let's set that aside for her. This is me trying to tan the bottoms of my arms because I tanned every place else. <laughs> oh, and don't smoke, guys. I used to smoke there back then, um, but I quit. You can too if you smoke. I'm looking on Mexican. Oh, here's me with little tiny sombreros. Oh, that was a fun trip I went with my sister. Oh my gosh, it's so many. This is my old apartment. I think we were, that's my friend Kara, my cousin. I think we were watching Top Model I cooked. We would have little top model, top model viewing parties. I'm actually going to be on an episode of Top Model this season, so you should check it out. Anything interesting in here? Oh, this is when David Blaine was in Lincoln Center underwater for a few days. I don't know, he was trying to do some kind of magic trick, whatever. Um... Sahara, God. Oh my God, look at this picture of me and Carson Kressley. <laughs> look at how young he was. He was, I still think he was still on Queer Eye for the Straight Guy. Maybe not. 2006, mm, I don't think he was actually. That's pretty cool. Oh my gosh. Craziness. Are you guys enjoying pictures of me? No? You want me to stop? I have more. Oh my gosh. It's my friend Dan Travis. I don't know who I'm with, but this is when we went and saw Christina Applegate and Sweet Charity. This is a surprise birthday party of mine. I was so drunk by the time I got there that I passed out like literally moments after I arrived. <laughs> it was my birthday and my friends were like, let's go to, a, my friend was like, let's go to a bar for your birthday. And I was like, oh, okay, it's just you and me. We'll just, like keep it simple. And then they were like hanging out at the bar and then we were drinking and I kept just drinking and then I was like, 
someone were waiting for someone to meet, like one of my friends to meet up, and they were never meeting up, and I was just kind of feeling bad about myself because no one came, like no one came to my like this bar. So I was like drinking, and then my friend was like, "Let's just go over, let's find out what's going on." Like, like let's walk to her house. So we walked to her house, and they had a whole like surprise birthday party for me. Completely gagged me for the gods, but um, I I was so drunk because I was drinking my I was like kind of like having a depressed moment because I felt like no one was there. And then guess what? Everyone was there! Then I passed out. And I was like, oh, well, thanks a lot. Here's a picture of me eating lobster because I love eating lobsters. Here's a picture of Antoine voguing. I think this is actually one of my birthday parties. We went to karaoke. Oh, these are my coworkers. These are my girls. I think they were singing a Spice Girl song. Could be wrong, I'm not sure. Mm -mm. Let's see here. This is one of my first paid gigs ever. We were disco balls. Isn't that cool? That's Epiphany. That's Barbie that she's cut off there. And that's Iggy. And me right there. All right, bitches. We look cute. Cool costumes, huh? There's Sahara, Noel, and Michael Musto. Ooh, look at this, get into her. You, can you tell who that is right there? It's her and Roger, friend Noelle, Sahara looking just like a fucking beautiful angel. Look how gorgeous she is. Here's a man in a dress. And then there's a Bianca Del Rio. She's wearing the smallest lashes I've ever seen. Look at that. <laughs> well, small slashes for Bianca Del Rio. Oh my god, I got to keep this out. Let's keep that right there. Let's... Here's... I think this is like a black and white party. It's feeling my, feeling my fantasy. This is before Drag Race. This is what? 2006. God, over 10 years ago. I'm just wearing, I, I was just wearing my boy underwear. I didn't even give a shit. I don't even know if I was tucked. I was probably tucked. There I am with a nip slip. Party. Yes, bitch. Oh, yeah, I'm right here. Yeah, here you go. Let's see, let's see me. My fake, Fen, my fake Fendi purse. My Calvin Klein underwear. My nip slip. I used to have so much fun back in the day. I mean, I have fun now. Let's see. And do you guys want to see more pictures? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, they're getting older as I get deeper. <sighs> I wonder if I have some college pictures in here. Are boring. Oh my gosh. Here's me and my cousins. There's my, my blonde hair. I've been dying my hair since I was blonde for a little since I was a little kid. They're grown men now, these two boys right here. Grown ass men. My late grandfather, Lolito, 
on my mom's side. This is the Minas the St. Paul Ice Castle or Ice Palace. That's my Lolito playing Scrabble with my mom. Lolito playing Mahjong with my cousin. It's my Uncle Mike. I think I kind of look like him. Oh my gosh! So many memories. I love it. <coughs> You guys probably think this is the boringest thing in the world. Probably. I could do this all day. Mm. So, I don't know if any of you guys know who Logan Hardcore is. Logan Hardcore is a drag queen in New York City. This is when he first started doing drag. I think he was actually underage. But he was at the bars anyway. And he was part of the House of Acid. Acid Betty's little like glam family so everyone was wearing crazy makeup because they were in the house of acid so there's her and my friend mm. oh my god my friend Beth is so hot My friend Beth and Amanda Lepore. Here's me and oh, I want to say the runner up of Top Model in one of those seasons. This is 2007. God. Actually, Bianca Del Rio gave me that wig, so thanks, Bianca. Hmm. Fun picks. Oh my gosh. Here's Manila Drunk. <laughs> um, me being gay. I don't know why I have white all over my face. I, th I think I put it there on purpose. Here's me at a club making out with some girl. You might recognize that's the dress I wore on All Stars for the 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 second episode, I think. God. I don't know who this boy is, but he's kind of cute. I'm not gonna lie. Mm. It was me and my friend. We were obviously wasted. <laughs> Look at her face. <laughs> oh my god. Insanity. Just gorgeous. And my sister, also gorgeous. <sighs> God. You guys, I miss being young and youthful. But I guess I guess I'll trade them for age and wisdom any day, right? Uh. I still have more photos here. Like, my God. I don't even know who these people are, but we look like we were having a good old time. She looks hot on the end there with the hat on. Dang. Who are these people? Oh, I remember. I used to work with him. I kind of had a crush on him a little bit. But then again, I had a crush on anyone who was gay back in the day. I didn't know that many gay people, so if you were gay and you said hi, you were my fucking boyfriend. <laughs> It's still kind of like that, to be honest. Um, oh my 
god, I'm so gay. Sorry, I'm not making riveting. Mm. I'm not like, being very interesting right now. Okay, those are boring actually. Um, maybe one of these days, I mean, I can't do it because I'm, you can't scroll through your phone and look through pictures, so you can't really do this. Oh, look how long my hair used to be. God, she, this is when I was growing my hair out. This is right before I met, um, Antoine from Sahara. I had been growing my hair out. I had been wanting to like snatch it into a ponytail. Here's me at my cousin's wedding. Look at that long ass hair. Oh wait, here's a prettier picture. Should I grow my hair out long again? I tried doing it last year and it didn't really look. It didn't look right. But I was young and I, I got sick of when people were like, we were like, um, the waitresses would come to the restaurant and be like, and ma'am, what would you like? And I'd turn around and be like, um, I'll have the chicken parmesan. And she'd be like, oh, I'm so sorry, sir. <laughs> this is me and my friends. Um, back in the day when I would go out, I would always, I would go out with my girlfriends. Like, this is my sister, my friend Beth, and her friend Carmen. And I'd always, like, I'd be like, hey, I'm going to dress you guys up. So I would always dress up all my girlfriends so we would go to the party so I wouldn't be the only one. Look how cute, look how cute everyone is. I put them in my drag, I would do their makeup. I miss doing that for my girlfriends. They would all like love it, they would gag and they'd have so much fun putting, like letting me put them in makeup. Wow. Wow. <clears throat> Let's see. I should probably stop. I mean, I'm gonna get to the bottom of this and you're gonna probably see pictures of me when I was underage. Here's when I went to um, the Brazil with my parents. Oh, these are really cool. Iguazu Falls, if you guys ever go down to South America, go to the Brazil slash Argentine border and it's got one of the most beautiful waterfalls in the whole world. Oh my gosh, I remember when I first went to Brazil, my first time in Brazil, I was so impressed at how beautiful everyone in Brazil was. Oh my God. It made me so horny, but I was on a trip with my parents, so. Couldn't do anything about that. Those are all pictures of like birds and my dad. Those are pictures of my dad and birds. Wow. All right, so this is, um, I was probably 18 years old. And I took pictures of my girlfriend at the time. Remember how I said I dressed, dressed all my girlfriends up? She was the first one. Was, I loved dressing her up. I made this little feather skull wig for her. I went and bought a little, oh my gosh. And then I made it into some art project that I did. I think she did her own makeup, to be honest. Picture. She's absolutely beautiful. I won't show her, I won't show her tits. We kind of had a falling out after uh, she dumped my ass for being a homosexual man. And rightfully so, I had no, I had no, uh... God, she's so pretty. So beautiful. She had the prettiest blue eyes I've ever seen. She's so milky white, such a beautiful woman. <sighs> we broke each other's hearts. When I was a photographer, <sighs> I thought I was a photographer. Um, wow, that's 
like some more nice pictures. Prom. Look at me. I made a fucking top hat. Just like at my wedding. <laughs> but no, this is the thing. I, that's, this is the thing. This is why I loved my girlfriend at the time. Can you see what's her, what she's wearing in her hair? I don't know if you can see this picture. I'm trying to get a clear shot of it. So I made her this little bird's nest with a with a twig and leaves growing out of it. I can't see it. Hold on, let me switch it around. You see that? She's wearing a little bird's nest. <laughs> Oh, look how cute. Yeah. Do I, I look so young, I think. I can't tell anymore. It's just what I look like. But I'm so happy she wore a little bird in her hair. That was her senior prom. Oops, sorry. Sorry, guys. Sorry, 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 sorry. Our foreign exchange student, Luisa. Ooh. Brazilian, so she's automatically beautiful. I was like, Luisa, can I take photos of you? Did her makeup. She's so fucking pretty. I should send her these pictures. She would probably like... So funny. Oh! Look at her. So goth. Such a beautiful woman. Look at her. Oh, I wish I was this beautiful. I wish I was Brazilian, actually. <laughs> Shout out to Brazil. Brazil! La, 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 la. Okay. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. She was in high school. I think she was like 17 years old. Back in the day when I was a photographer. Sevilla. You guys, I'm reaching the end of my, my box, guys. I think this is it. I don't think there's any more pictures in here. You guys, I really had fun going through all my photos with you. I hope you enjoyed taking a trip down memory lane with me. Yeah, those are boring pictures. Wow, I was young once, young and beautiful, and full of energy, and apparently I took just as many pictures back then as I take now. <laughs> Dang. We are so cute. These are my friends. Again, I dressed them up because that's what I did. So pretty. I loved, I loved. I love doing this. I found Carmen again. And that was my roommate. I forget her fucking name. Wow. Well, that was fun, guys. Um, thanks for watching. We should take look, take a look at pictures of myself.
Wow. So many photos. Oh, here's my my roommate on me. She's fun. I wonder what Ame is up to these days. Oh, here's a picture of Madonna. Fierce. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I found these. I found these. You guys, make sure to keep everything you own. Who knows? Especially pictures. It's so cool. At this day and age when, you know, you keep all your pictures on your phone and you really don't have... Don't really have um, a way of like keeping them. Like if your phone like dies, or if you lose your phone, or when you update to the new phone, you kind of lose all those pictures. And it's not the same when you have it just as a file on a computer somewhere on your old laptop somewhere. God, if people don't have computers anymore, so it's like I, nice to see like a physical box I can open up and just open up and look at all these memories of me. I should start printing out some more pictures of uh, like. I guess you can just go to like Walgreens and print out pictures like on you know pieces of paper. So, all right, I'm gonna end this, you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.